dear friends for the celebration of 50th year of independence cc rt has prepared eight small booklets for 25 years back on national symbols of india emblem first one is emblem second flag third anthem fourth one song fifth one uh, calendar then animal bird and flower national symbols provide the identity and choice of symbols which reflect the value of a particular nation these are the manifestation of man's yearning for spiritual and emotional well-being harmony with nature and expressions of his artistic creative thoughts through tears this one is uh, national emblem this is that you all may know that we all should know about uh, this because we have to transfer the culture of our nation to the coming future generations uh, india adopted sarnath lion capital of ashoka as her national emblem uh, on january 26 1950 the day she became republic four lions seated back to back as a circular abacus in the center of which there is chakra wheel having 24 spokes lion capital discovered in 1905 ad near uh, wheel and uh, center wheel has a spiral connotation in india art and culture the second one second one is national flag uh, you may all know that uh, flag has evolved for years for uh, so many years in 1906 um, uh, at calcutta we have hoisted a flag then 1907 madan kam uh, kama in germany uh, anibasan and tilak uh, in 1917 uh, on home rule movement put a uh, flag again aicc vijayawada in 1921 and all uh, congress sessions 1931 after independence we have made a flag in 1947 that flag adopted by constituent assembly this is three horizontal strip equal proportions saffron for courage and sacrifice white for truth and peace green for faith and chivalry and the center uh, sarnath lion capital uh, Ash- uh, of ashoka that is 24 uh, spokes in navy blue color the ratio of this flag is 3 is to 2 3 breadth and height 2 um, according to gandhi a flag is a necessity for all nations millions have died for it it is idolatry so sin is to destroy it it represents an ideal british air de nenjathu nammal keri ninnittu uyarthiyadani ee flag adagondu thanne adinte parayilla thyagam nammal orkendathum adu ulkondu kondu thanneyanu nammal ella varshavum oru national days um observe cheyumum ee flag uyarthunnathu idinte parayilla thyagam nammal ulkollayendathundu it will be necessary for all indians and all other to whom india is their home to recognize a common flag to live and to die for then uh, attached to that flag code is there uh, in flag code it is proposed uh, how to use this flag and uh, what are the occasional occasion uh, which we use national flag i am not describing all those things but uh, we have to uh, salute uh, uh, there are so many sections 
uh, here we have saluted uh, and while saluting we we were singing anthem it is not like that madam uh, after saluting um, the uh, coordinator should order say order then all should uh, hand down then only at only in attention question we have to uh, sing national anthem there are so many uh, um, so many directions to use flag and i am not describing all, all those things you uh, these books are dis, um, displayed here all can see and understand and the next one is uh, our national anthem janagana mana actually uh, it is 26 lines but we are uh, using only eight lines according to our convenience written by ravindranath tagore all know uh, he has won nobel prize for his uh, writing gitanjali and janakana mana we all should know the lines at least eight lines and uh, it took um 52 seconds to sing today also we have done it next one is vande uh, mataram normally we are not singing vande mataram it is the preamble of this uh, national functions vande uh, mataram uh, is written by bangin chandra chatterjee it is also 26 lines but we are uh, singing only uh, eight lines next one is i i i don't want to describe it our national flower that is lotus we all know uh, our prosperity is seen through this flower this is uh, uh, that's why we have taken this as our national flower next is our national bird peacock this is also uh, uh, showing our um, greenery and our um, relation with animals uh, friendliness and our fraternity um, our consideration uh, to the fellow beings that is um, uh, these colors all these flowered beings and all those things shows so many um, uh, important messages but i am not uh, describing all these things we can go through all this next one is our national animal tiger uh, this is tiger uh, you all know it's a uh, very vigorous animal our strength is seen through this and uh, uh, symbol and last one is our calendar this uh, calendar starts from uh, chaitra vaisak maka like that and we are uh, not using now uh, because all other countries uh, are using uh, gregorian calendar that is january to december so in order to Com- communicate and go through uh, smooth uh, conducting of official functions we are using all the countries are now using gregorian calendar starting from january to december but uh, this is our um, national symbol and this is our ancestral calendar but um, uh, in 1953 nehru jawaharlal nehru uh, has amended a rule that uh, this can be kept aside we can use gregorian calendar be only to the smooth functioning of official matters all of these uh, eight, eight symbols are there uh, all these uh, we have to know very well uh, this has to be exhibited and we have to go through uh, uh, we we should know all those things because uh, uh, for example uh, to attain a proper flag we have uh, 
conducted so many uh, work to prepare a national flag like this. So we all are requested. You all are we, I think we all are uh, to be known very well about these national symbols, eight national symbols.